talk about what I like to see. Just throwing some ideas out there. What I like to see in the next Friday the Thirteenth movies, right? Let me fix this camera real quick. Uh, I was thinking, well, for starters, it's to take place two years after Jason X. Well, this is like the first movie, right? It takes place two years after Jason X. But you don't explain why to the black guy. You don't explain why to the robot girl or the guy with them, with her. And you don't explain to the other girl who got frozen with Jason, remember? And this is kind of like basically in the first ten minutes of the first movie, right? And um, they send them back in time because there's a time machine on Crystal Lake on Earth 2, right? They send them back in time. But that time machine used to be on Earth 1. So that's how that time machine could go back in time to Earth 1. Because if it existed on Earth 2, it would only go back to the beginning of Earth 2. That's how it was able to go back to Earth 1. Because it used to be on Earth 1. So, it would take place 2020. Jason has been gone since 2008, right? In the 13th part 11, right? Jason will see his frozen body. And... So, that's kind of it. That's basically kind of um, where the first movie is, right? The first 10 minutes is in the future, and then he gets sent back in time to 2020. The second movie. Let's go into the second movie. And the second movie is, is about the future. It's going to take place in the future again. Because I think people's going to be like, oh, that's kind of lame. Why didn't you have the Friday the 13th movie take place in the future? Well, that's the second movie, right? The second movie takes place before the first movie. You know, it shows you what led him being sent into the time machine. You know, being sent back to Earth 1. And I will say, you will use the same stock footage from the first movie. Or, you can shoot all the three movies back to back to back. And, now you say, that's kind of a bad idea. Because what if the first movie does bad? And, they say, well, release them anyway. Look at Transformers. Those movies make a lot of money, and they s still get movies made. I mean, I have a, I stopped watching them after the third one. But, see, the main characters of all these movies is a member of the Jason Bloodline, of course. You know, the first movie, Jason was gone, has been gone for, you know, 10, 15 years, you know, 2020. And then this movie, the legacy of the Voorhees Bloodline. You know, it's an ancestor to Jason's sister side of the family. And so, they're going to try to kill him. You know, they're going to have the book from Earth 1. You know, apparently it's from Evil Dead. But that's besides the point. And I don't really know. You know, they're going to have the dagger. You know, that's also going to be in the first movie. You know, I, I remember my daughter da said this sword could kill him. Send him back to hell. Kill him off for good. And let's talk about the third movie. I didn't, I didn't really have a subtitle, so it's just going to be called Part of the 13th, Part 13. This takes place back in the future. I mean, not back in the future. It continues on from the first movie. Jason now follows his sister's kid. Remember the baby from the first movie? I mean, it Jason goes to hell. The baby. It's just to continue on from the, the first movie. And Jason's going to follow her. I think the third movie should take place. It's going to be like Jason goes to Manhattan. But it's going to be... This is going to be the most location Jason movie, meaning it's going to take place on a train. It's going to take place on a bus. It's going to take place in New York. It's going to take place in the suburbs. It's going to take place in our office. It's going to take place in the police station, like everywhere. Like, trying to make this the most locationary Jason movie of all time. And also about this. You're gonna learn about more about um Jason's father in these movies, like somewhere. And also I would like to see in all these movies it's like the weather, like fog, snow. Cause that's what they wanted to do for the reboot to the sequel. Not reboot, excuse me, remake. It wasn't a reboot, it was a remake. It was obviously a savage. It was set. It was a remake, not a reboot. But yeah, that's it, you know, some weather I would like to see some good weather, you know, effects. I think Jason would work well, you know. And also another thing, what would Jason look like? Will he still have the... See, but that's the thing about the first movie, right? Or try to see the second movie. He's going to have a different, you know, he's going back to his regular outfit. Let's just say Freddy vs. Jason outfit type. 
right? So, and obviously from Jason X, he has both of his eyes again because I like that um from from what 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 was it? Pretty much, I, I forgot what movie, but he only had one eye. Also, his mask, like somewhere I'll say in the second movie, where in, yes, technically, see this is why it's kind of confusing. I kind of confused one. In the second movie, he gets a new mask, and he's gonna get a new X mark on his mask. You know, kind of like the third movie. So, in the third, in the second movie, you're going to see where he got the slash. So, obviously, it's not the same Max from 30 million years ago. And also, this is going to mention Freddy, the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 7. Because remember, Freddy vs. Jason takes place inside the movie world. And that's how the third movie is going to end, actually. You know, you see the audience. You see the audience going, good movie. Good movie. And then they're going to be like, uh, but uh, I'm going to go see... um." Nightmare on Elm Street Part 7 again. That, that movie was better. And, and guess what? This movie, it's going to set up Freddy versus Jason versus Michael. It's about time. Or Freddy, not Freddy, Jason versus Michael. I won't, I don't care. It's been, what would you call it though? There was a, I remember that fan film, Friday the 31st. That was a good movie. Good fan film. I've been wanting to see that. Now people's going to be like, who, who will win? And these are things about versus movies. They, they, they don't want to pander to one side. They, want, they don't want a dedicated one-sided win. Like, oh, you let Jason win? But, and then you'll see the Halloween fans get angry. Or you, you see Michael win, but you see the Jason fans get angry. I don't know. But that, that's just some Final the 13 ideas I have. Yeah, so that was, yeah. But, uh, in the closing... Oh, and I just remember another thing. It should no longer be. It should be. For kill all. So, let's do it again. Instead of. It should be. Kill all. But anyway. Get your fingers up. And say with me. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Okay, so. Bye. It's to be kill all.